Hey y'all, it's Rachel. Welcome or welcome back to Ghost and Glitter. This video was supposed to be a weekend vlog, but my weekend went off the rails and I was traveling and just, it was hectic. And while I did have time to read, I did not have time to, to vlog. But I still wanted to put this out here because I wanted to do a Halloween weekend round one wrap up. Um, if you don't know, Hello Weekend is this awesome readathon put on by a variety of hosts. I'll leave them all linked down below plus all the details. But basically, there's a list of prompts for every weekend in October. I read two books over the weekend to fit the prompts, and I had a really good time with both of them. So the two prompts that I satisfied was one of the main prompts, and the other prompt was one of the like bonus prompts. So for the main prompt, I chose to complete Halloween Vibes, and I read Dark Harvest by Norman Partridge, which I've been wanting to read for a hot minute. I gave this one four stars. This book was so much fun. When I first started Dark Harvest, it definitely threw me off a little bit because the narration style varies between second person and third person. And it's kind of abrupt when it changes. And we are following a main character, Pete, but not the whole time, but it is mostly his story. But so it threw me off for the first like 30 pages, I think. But once I got into it and kind of got down with like the pacing and the style of it, this was a lot of fun. So we are following our main character, Pete, who lives in this small Midwestern town in the 1960s. And this town, every Halloween night, um, about five days prior, they lock up their young boys between 16 and 18 years old without food and only give them water. They like starve them for a few days before Halloween and when Halloween hits, they like let them out to go hunt the October boy. And the October boy is this creature that has the head of a pumpkin with a jack-o'-lantern's face carved into it. And it is a you know, walking scarecrow looking guy with the pumpkin on his head. And the goal is that one of the many boys that are starving and looking for this guy will kill him. And they, um, their reward is they get to leave town. And um, no one really leaves town except for the people that hunt and kill the October boy. And it's like this big deal to be able to leave. So, it's got small town vibes, it's got crispy crunchy fall leaves, it's got a jack-o'-lantern monster with um, candy running through its veins. It's got all of the Halloween goodness with some pretty gnarly kills. So I highly recommend this one. It's super short. I think it's about 170 pages, something like that. It's a quick read. Um, I, I had a lot of fun with it, especially the last half of it, I just couldn't put it down. Once I got to the halfway mark, I was just like, I gotta finish this. This is this is good. So I had a great time with that one. The second book that I read was to fulfill the bonus prompt of read a book by one of your favorite authors. And for that, I chose Men, Women, and Chainsaws by Stephen Graham Jones, who is one of my favorite authors. This is a short little piece of his work that I want to say... I don't remember what time period or what decade it takes place in, but this is a kind of a combination of Christine by Stephen King with a splash of, um, just a splash of revenge, pretty much. Um, we're following our main character, Jenna, whose um, crappy ex-boyfriend has moved back into town. And she wants to get revenge on him for things that he's done in the past. And while we have that on one end, we have a car, this old beat up car that slowly is becoming less and less beat up and more and more crisp and new looking um, because Jenna is spilling blood. It's renovating itself. So we have these two elements coming together for a satisfying conclusion, and um, I loved it. I gave it five stars. It's Stephen Graham Jones. I mean, 
I think at this point, I'm going to give everything I read of his five stars. Like, I just, I haven't been disappointed. I'm scared for the day that that might come. <laughs> but uh, as it stands, another win from Stephen Graham Jones. So that is my quick little uh, Hello Weekend round one wrap up. Um, my weekend was full of a lot of fun things. I also, um, over the weekend, I watched a couple of spooky movies. Um, I watched Arachnophobia from 1990. I had never seen it before and it was so fun. Um, although, as you can tell by the title, if you don't like spiders, maybe steer clear because there's a lot of spiders in there. But for someone who does like spiders, it was silly, goofy fun. Um, got all that 90s cheesiness in it. I also checked out My Best Friend's Exorcism on Amazon Prime. And it was fun. I I don't know. I, I didn't really expect any more than what it gave. I was excited to see it. I gave it about 3.5 stars if you want to follow me on Letterboxd. I wasn't disappointed. I wasn't wowed. I was just, it was really good. It was good. Um, I recommend you watch it. If you've read the book, definitely watch it. Um, if you haven't, you'll still have a good time. Uh, the book is better though. That does it for this Hello Weekend round. I'm super excited for next weekend. I'm doing the prompts as they come around. I'm not setting myself a TBR because I'm having a lot of fun just picking a prompt and grabbing a book and it speaks to my mood reading heart to be able to do that. So um, I will see y'all in my next video. I hope you've had a great day and have a great rest of your week. Bye!